Effective content literacy involves bringing high quality literature to the students. In this lesson, the students had heard the Midnight Ride of Paul Revere, and then they put themselves back in time, and they took the point of view if they heard Paul Revere riding through the streets, if their family was a patriot or a loyalist, and then they wrote a short narrative response. The British are coming. Oh no, Paul will go out to war. We want freedom. Will they go by sea or land? I'm confused. I'm happy and sad. We will run for the woods, Mom said. Mom ran in my room. Get out of the house, Megan. Get to the woods. We got out of the house. Run for your 12 year old of 12 years of living. Run, Megan, run. And now everybody gets. So, do we think it's a loyalist or a patriot family? Uh, patriot family? They're running. Okay. Yeah. Good job. All right, JJ wants to read his. <laughs> I woke up by the sound of a horse, and I heard the words, The British are coming, the British are coming. I ran outside and saw a man racing down the road, shouting out the words, The British are coming, the British are coming, warning everybody, warning everybody. and that froze, and fear ran off my body, and I got scared and worried. I just wished I could disappear. You hear the voice in that? That was so good. You want to pick someone to guess if you're a loyalist or patriot? David. I think it's a patriot. Yes, yes? Oh, right. Here, right? Oh, can I go? Okay. Okay. I lay there sound asleep one night. Then I hear I then I was awoke and because I heard someone talking to my dad in the hall. They were talking about the British. They were they said the British are coming. Maybe the British were across the street or even closer. So I kept shouting, the British are coming. I stopped shouting and started to run. I started running in circles. Soon I stopped running and started to shake from fear. Oh, just shaking from fear. I love how you showed that and didn't oh. Good voice. Very nicely written. Everybody does. Okay, so now I want to share a few of these. We didn't do this part yesterday either. Have you been doing this for your homework? To engage the students in learning about famous patriots or loyalists, the students were asked to take home a trading card of sort and have dinner with a famous person each week. They discussed the person with their family and then came back to school and shared what their family learned. Well, I picked some of you who are here, because some of the kids in charge are not here. I want you to see if you would mind coming and sharing some of your thoughts on your dinner with person. So you had dinner with, um, Karen, would you mind sharing yours? Okay. Um, tell me if I just pass it to you and you can just stand where you are and then just share. All right, so I had Aaron. I thought I wanted to pick a different person so we have representative of all different people. I don't know who this is, but it's really good. Wait, Thomas Jefferson. Anybody? Wait, let me see. Anybody in here? Oh, that's mine. Oh, that was a good one. JJ, I thought yours was super. Right, my name. Patrick awesome. Henry, Ella. Is it Patrick Henry? King George, Lobster. Mm -hmm. You're King George. John Malcolm. John Malcolm. Oh, that's you too. You also very good. Who else did John Malcolm? I did. Oh, you did John Malcolm? Okay. I did John Malcolm. Did anyone do um, option? So, um, the first quote was. The die is now cast. The colonies must either submit or triumph. We must not retreat, King George III. <coughs> we must not retreat. King George III in a letter to Lord North, 1774. And the second one was, a traitor is everyone who does not agree with me. So I think the first one means, like, to lose everything. Like, you know, but, like, to not retreat. You put a lot of thought into that at your dinner table. All right, last but not least, quiet. I had John. I had John Adams. Oh, good. I was hoping someone had John Adams. And um, it was really only only me and my dad because when my sister was at swim, and 
then the mods have to go do stuff. So, one of the quotes, quotes was, children should be educated and instructed in the principles of freedom. So, and I said, a, a country should teach its children about liberty. Before we started this unit on liberty and loyalty, you said that you thought the Patriots were the good guys, but then after we read the books that showed different points of view, how did you feel after that? I felt like the pa the, that the, the Loyalists um, were just as good as the Patriots because, like, the Patriots were um, mean to the Loyalists because they tarred and feathered, and then the Loyalists were mean to the Patriots because they raised high taxes, and so, like... It's sort of, they were both mean in their own way and they were both nice in their own way. So there was really no good and bad guy. It was sort of just like a country. <clears throat> and how did you feel about like the children, like Katie and Katie's trunk or Sybil and Sybil's night ride? Like, how do you feel about them and how they got caught up in all the craziness? Since they have like parents who were like right about in the war, then they felt like. They knew a lot about the war, and um, they sort of wanted to be like in the action. Who has uh, reading lots of children's literature about the colonies and the people that lived during the Revolutionary War help you understand their lives better? It helped me understand what they were going through, like if they were sad and if they were scared. Because Miss Steele said that um, there's no right from wrong because some of the royalists didn't know, like, they both had different sides and they didn't realize um, that, like, everybody thinks if, if you're American um, that um, um, the Patriots were better than the British, but the British think that the British are better than the Patriots. So they both are kind of against each other.